Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. While the World Health Organization debates about downgrading COVID from a pandemic, the rise China and Hong Kong cases is striking. China's CSI 300 fell 3%, and a measure of Chinese stocks that trade in HK plunged more than 7%. The Hang Seng itself dropped 5%. COVID in China and Hong Kong adds to the risk of more supply chain disruptions. Europe's stock 600 is up about 1.6%, led by financials and industrials. U.S. futures are 0.5 to 0.7% better. The dollar is sitting at the fulcrum today. The Scandies and Euro are advancing, while the dollar block and yen are softer. The greenback pushed above JPY 117 at the end of last week and has approached JPY 118 today. Gold is heavy near $1960 after peaking last week around $2070. Support is seen in the $1950 to $1958 band. April WTI is also slipping lower after meeting resistance near $110. Asian Pacific Market U.S. National Security Advisor Sullivan is meeting with his Chinese counterpart Yang today. The last meeting was in October. The ostensible purpose is to exchange views on global and regional issues. Some U.S. officials seem to think China may have been aware that Putin was planning something but may not have known the full extent. The dollar reached almost JPY 117.90 earlier today as it extends last week's breakout. The JPY 118 area offers the nearby cap. Initial support is seen in the 117.40 to 117.50 band. The Australian dollar reversed lower last Monday, and the selling pressure may have burnt itself out. The Aussie needs to push above 0.7280 and $0.7300 to lift the technical tone. Market of Europe There were some outstanding issues between the US and Iran in resurrecting the 2015 accord, but the talks were suspended. Russia, which plays an important role here, wants guarantees that U.S. sanctions would not affect Iran's planned economic and commercial ties. The U.S. refuses. The euro initially extended its pre-weekend losses and slipped briefly below $1.09. Sterling's recent losses were extended to almost $1.30 today, but it stabilized and returned to the $1.3060 area. While a move above there would target $1.3100, it seems too far away. Tomorrow the UK reports employment figures, but the highlight is the BOE meeting on Thursday that is widely expected to deliver another 25 BP height. Market of America The focus is of course on the Federal Open Market Committee meeting that concludes at midway. However, ahead of it, there are several high-frequency economic reports. These include the March Empire State Manufacturing Survey and February PPI tomorrow. Canada reported monster jobs data ahead of the weekend. Employment jumped 336,600, well above the 127,500 median forecast in Bloomberg survey. The Canadian dollar is trading quietly within the pre-weekend range CAD 1.2695 to 1.2795. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.